Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today in our video of preparing ourselves for Cloud Architect certification, the topic which we will discuss is about high availability. So this is a standard question or a concept which you should be aware of uh, even for clearing the certification and also when you become a Cloud Architect when you are designing it, this should be one of the important things as a Cloud Architect. How, what are the components, how can you enable the component to be in a high availability mode and, and uh, have a failover design, that's very very important. So today what we'll do is, we'll take a specific category that is the storage category under GCP, all the storage category components, we'll discuss what are the high availability options for those. So we'll start with big table. So when you click on big table, you'll come to the screen. I have already configured or uh, given the name for a few of the things. So name of the big table cluster is this one. And uh, let's make it production grade. So that's important. And the most important thing is when you want to have HA, uh, the replication factor is very, very important. So what you can do is, let me create a cluster in, say for example, in Mumbai, in A zone. So that's my first cluster. Click done. And if you want to have a replicated cluster, just click add. That's it. It's very simple. So if you want it in the same region, what you can do is now it became cluster two. So you can make it Mumbai and it is very smart. It says already A is already used because it does not make sense to have the same uh, have the cluster in the same zone so it has to be zone redundant like uh, zone redundant right so select another zone and click done that's it and if you want something like uh, region redundant redundancy then select something like Singapore and select it so this should be your third cluster click done and you have good amount of replication and you should be having a good design so that's the option for big table now let's go to the next option the next option is data store as we know data store is a serverless no sql database so if it is serverless everything would be managed by definitely by google so no need to take care of anything so it's already managed by google so that's the advantage of going with serverless and the same thing falls uh, applies to firestore also because firestore is uh, data stores next generation version so data store and firestore google will take care of it so life becomes very simple going on to the next one which is file store so file store is something which became recently ga so and if you go to the file store uh, documentation what it shows is usually file stores are uh, zonal in nature so that's what you usually mention it and you cannot um, so if the zone goes down, uh, you will not be able to have anything. So this is something which you need to work it out. So is unavailable if the zone resides is down. So if the entire zone goes down, you don't have any uh, high availability design. So since it came became GA recently, maybe in future you may have some uh, high availability option, but currently it is not there. That is the uh, information. Next, going on to storage, again, as everybody knows, it's totally serverless. So no need to worry about this uh, replication. So if you still want to do it, uh, I, I don't think so you need to do it because usually you get regional, multi-regional options. So even if it's regional, it is replicated, uh, the data is replicated across the three zones. So replication is already there in place. So again, the advantage of using serverless option. Now moving on to the next option which is Cloud SQL. So let's go to the Cloud SQL screen. So when it comes to Cloud's, uh, Cloud SQL screen, uh, the simplest option, you get two options, MySQL and Postgres, and the screen looks almost the same. If you want to enable high availability, it's one of the most easiest option I would say. Come under auto backup and high availability, just enable this. That's it, job done. So that's how easy it is to enable high availability in Cloud SQL option and the same thing applies for Postgres also. Now going back to the next component which is our Spanner, Cloud Spanner. So if you come to Cloud Spanner, since this is uh, primarily available, it's a regional and a multi-regional resource, by default you will get that option inbuilt. So when you see uh, Cloud SQL option, these are zonal resource. So having this kind of an option, high availability is always an important thing. 
but whenever you are discussing with a, a service which is by default regional in nature things become very easier there replication becomes very very easier so say for example if you create a spanner uh, and let's assume the region is mumbai select a regional option by default you see this replicas in each three zones we know every region has three zones minimum so one one replica is there by default and if you are expecting a production definitely you need to have three nodes that's one of the prerequisites so by default you will get that replication factor when you are using cloud spanner and if you go with multi-region definitely you will get that option so very very easy to configure the high availability options when it comes to google uh, storage components and the last one is fire uh, memory store which is nothing but manage radius instance so when you click on the memory store option you get a instance tier option which indicates basic or standard if it's for production purpose simple if you want high availability just turn on this or select this option you will get the high availability but a point to note that here is the replication is within the same zone so if the entire zone goes down products like memory store cloud sql will not work so that's one thing which you need to do so you if you want you need to design something extra so that's something which comes in built but if you want zone redundant redundancy at a zonal level meaning you want to have resources in multiple zones farm memory store and cloud sql does not give you that currently so that is the information so i guess we have covered almost everything since we are talking about storage uh, without talking about the other products like a sql server i feel it's not complete uh, sql server and oracle are important databases which we have not discussed so if you are having a, a oracle database uh, as most of us know you cannot host oracle database in my gcp so because of the license restriction so if you want a migration definitely you have to go either with uh, cloud sql option or spanner so that's an option and we have already seen how to achieve high availability with cloud sql and spanner and when it comes to microsoft sql server uh, what you can do is uh, you can look into this documentation maybe i can put the link in the description uh, one of the options which you get is something called as uh, it is called as what is that called it is called as always on availability groups so this is something which is available with microsoft sql server and uh, this is the architecture diagram for it so that you can achieve um, maybe a regional level redundancy or at a zonal level based on what is your choice you can achieve that and it's very very simple to do that and you should get uh, under cloud sql itself uh, sql server soon I understand it is in currently in alpha stage as per the documentation but for the time being if uh, if you wanted to design or if you get any questions on how to have high availability for SQL ser SQL server simple come to your virtual machine click on uh, virtual machine screen click on marketplace and when you search for SQL server always on you get these two uh, results you can choose whichever you want and by this you will have this availability group or always on availability group using which you should definitely be able to achieve the HA component or HA option. So that's the video which I wanted to share with you uh, primarily on high availability and failover option primarily for storage. Maybe in the next video I will definitely discuss about uh, compute option how to achieve HA for those things in the upcoming videos. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you for watching.